What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are back from more varsity action. Sorry we could not bring you the JV game as we were having some technical difficulties today, but we are here in time for the boys' varsity game. My name is Jay Kyle, and alongside me, I have another special guest, a former varsity player from last year. It's Mr. Fami Ali. Yes, yes. Hey, guys. I'm going to be um, commentating with Jake today. It's going to be an interesting game, honestly. So how this plays out. Yeah, we're gonna oh, we're good. gonna have we're gonna have Jane D'Antoni on a little later uh, as Adem has the ball now and we get started here. Fort Richmond see wearing see white, CSI wearing black. Ooh. Oh, Edwell loses it. A Sammy right there on the break. Same with the layup and he misses. Ryan at the rebound. Yusuf at the three. Boom. Oh. And that? CSI gets the scoring off right here. Do you know, you played against CSI last year. Mm -hmm. We beat them once, we lost to them once. How was your feeling on that matchup? Um, honestly, it was an interesting matchup both times. The first time, we, you know, we killed them. Like, yeah, we, um, did it. we beat them by like 34 points. It was a, yeah, the next time I, I didn't play, and um, you know, we lost by seven. Uh, they came in hot that, that um, second game, and they, they gave it to us. And there wow. goes another three. Wow. Jalen Alejandro. Coach Danny Lee was talking to me before. He said that they were going to come in ready. They yeah. know that this is a good Port Richmond team, so they're yeah. ready to go at it. Oh, wow. They're coming in hot right now. Ryan with the steal and a layup. Oh, he misses. But yeah, you know, see the side? They always come in the port and play hard. They, they always want to be port. That's like their mission. Absolutely right? bricked that three. But here comes Q. He has it now. Oh, wow. Nice little step there, okay, and he Q. gets it in. That's Q right that. to JV Cola. What are your thoughts on him? Who? Q. Oh, Q. Oh, yeah. He's a uh, standout from JV. Coming to the varsity team, coming to the varsity team, doing a b uh, making a big impact. You know, making a big, making a big impact. I like Q. He's making a big impact already on this uh, varsity team. Well, now they're gonna Two take three. another three. Oh my God! It's just a three-point barrage three. here for CSI. Two threes for Yusuf already, man. He's having a hot start. Well, Paul Richardson's going to have to wake up on the outside defense here. Nunez has it at the top. He's looking around to find somebody. Coach Danny Lee for CSI shouting instructions to the very vocal coach, but so is Coach Jeremy Smalls. Here comes oh, X. X. Okay. There goes X. X is very good with getting through the defense, yeah, as we all know. Definitely. He was very popular with the floater last time out. And Fami, you were here for that game against McKee. We beat them by, I believe it was two or three. What are your thoughts on them? Oh, that game was crazy. You know, it was. Uh, I thought it was going to be a blowout in the beginning. In the second half, you know, Tyree Spencer, you know, he came in hot with like I think like 20 second half points, and they they I thought they were gonna, you know try to get the upset, but you know, McKee came in hot in the second half, but they came up short. Yeah, that was a good game. All right, well, clock stops here. What were, you, what were your thoughts on that game? Uh, the key and, uh, it was honestly one of the best games I commented for Port Richmond, you know. And I, like you said, we were, it was expected that McKee would, you know, dominate us as they have in years past. But mm -hmm. they were actually able to hold their own. It was a tight game all throughout, but Port Richmond was able to come oh. through with a Oh, my God. Oh, God. And that was a hard fall for yeah. Nunez right onto the CSI right there. Well, thankfully, it seems everybody's okay. Yeah, he's okay. And speaking of injuries, Fami, you are injured for the good majority of your senior year. Yeah. Um, you played, I believe, a little bit uh, in the last game of the mm -hmm. season. Yeah, um, and I played in the last three games of the season against uh, Curtis. And then the two playoff games, I played in those games. But, mm -hmm. you know, it was like, you know, minimum minutes. But, yeah. And what were you, how did you feel to be? Sitting on the sidelines like that your senior year. Um, it was sad and depressing. Um, you know, I couldn't. You know, I still think about it every day, especially now. Like, I, I just think of it, I, I just think that I missed a lot, and you know, I could have done a lot if I played. I feel like, but you know, it happens. You know, stuff happens, and yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna play college ball soon and get back into it. Mm -hmm. Well. As we know, speaking on playoffs last year, you guys lost in the first round to Evander Childs. Mm -hmm. But this year, with Curtis and Wagner not in the Senate on division anymore, Port Richmond has a good chance at winning some games this season. So do you see them going far in the playoffs this year? Yeah, I can see them going, you know. It just depends how, you know, how they, with what seedings they get in the regular season, you know. They got to play good in the regular season so they can go to the city playoffs and have an advantage, get home court advantage. You know, that, that should be the goal for them this year. And last year, the Staten Island High School League was reintroduced as part of the season. As we know, we lost in the first round to more Catholic. Mm -hmm. Do you think we sh we will have a good run in that tournament this year? I think I think so. Yeah, definitely. You know, we have a we have a deep team, a deep bench. 
Um, you know, a lot of special players. Um, yeah, we could definitely make a deep run in that, in that uh, Staten Island playoffs. Well, CSI taking it down the court now. He's going to find his way. Oh, number 11 gets blocked. Blocked. oh, but he gets it right back. Poor Richmond's got to do better with their transitioning here. Actually, last year, CSI uh, beat Poor Richmond at Poor Richmond. So, yeah, that was an interesting game. one. Three oh, balls. Good yeah, once yeah. again. It's a three-point mania here. I uh, Sammy right there. Well, CSI is missing a big part of the roster here. Sonny Maldonado was suspended after the New York game. Mm -hmm. He will not return for, I believe, another game after this. But he's definitely a key part of the team. But it looks like they're doing just fine without him. Wow. Wow. Poor Richmond. They need a timeout. Yeah, well, it's going to be a timeout here for Poor Richmond. And Coach Jeremy Smalls looking to get back on the same page as his team. We'll be right back. See, he's well at the ball here. See what he does with it. Running the offense. So I was losing it right now. Let's see what he does. Nunez. Oh, well, attacking. Oh, he's fouled. And this is going to be a very physical game. The JV game before this, I was able to watch a little bit. And it was very physical. Let's see what Port Richmond and CSI's varsity teams can do here. Norman Grandstaff will inbound it to Joel Nunez. One of the homies in the hole, as we've said in previous time. I always feel like Port Richmond is the more talented team, but CSI comes in with the, like the you know the more heart. Like they have more heart than mm -hmm. most teams on Staten Island, and that's what and that's what separates them from other teams on Staten Island is that they have more heart. Well, CSI catching Port Richmond off its toes here. It's four to sixteen yeah. with three minutes to go in the, the first double, quarter. Double team him, but he gets around and misses. Wow, 16-4. It's an unexpected start by CSI. Well, CSI has it now looking to get it around. Yusuf's going to shoot that. He, oh, he's coming a little short. Well, Q has it now. Looks Is like he going to take it himself? Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting take there, but it's a blocking foul. It so looks, he will looks, get two free throws. It looks like we got Alex and Reem checking in. We don't know for who, but yeah, they're checking in. Reem, uh, Kareem Faluga, one of the other homies in the hall. Mm -hmm. I think they can give some good minutes here, Alex and Reem. Mm -hmm. so well, here. now here goes Wright. His first one is up and good. That'll help Port Richmond out here as they look to right, we got Norman get back. We got Norman and them checking out. Let's see, let's see what Reem and Alex can do here. Well, folks, keep in mind, we're not, we will be the Port Richmond Rangers will be heading on the road for the next two games as they go to take on New Dorp, followed by Petrides, and then they're back home after that. As CSI has it now. In the corner. Wow. Poor wow. Richmond, Poor Richmond is struggling. Comes in from Poor Richmond is struggling immensely on defense here. They are. they got to really step it up right now. Well, with Alex, with Alex Rodriguez back in the game, can that help him out on the arch? He's a major three-point shooter for this team. Can he fire up like CSI did at the beginning? Fluger finds Cardona back to Nunez, who goes inside. Maybe a little push there, but gets nothing. Out for the three. No no three. Reem with the rebound, though. Oh, uh, too long there. It goes right into the stands. I think it hits someone. I think we're good, though. Four has got to wake up right now. Poor Richmond in the hole has to wake up now. 
see what they could do here. Oh, wow. So Yusuf off with the pull up jumper, and that is good. He is on a hot start right now. What are, you, what are your thoughts? Oh, wow, that is a turnover. That is two in a row for Richmond. And now it's going to be Gio Lozada checking in for, I believe, Q, right? Oh, no, not Q, right? Oh, that was uh, Joel Nunez checking out. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, this is definitely going to help. We got some good defense in now. Keep in mind, folks, it's only the first quarter, and it's 6 to 20. Oh, Ryan's attacking. Oh, it's still Rodrigo, I believe. Rodriguez has it now. He's being tightly defended, got trapped there. He's gonna find Lozada, who finds Fluger back to Lozada. Lozada finds Rodriguez into right, who also gets trapped. Very good defense here for CSI. Rodriguez is gonna try three, no good, as two CSI players down there to get the rebound, and Port Richmond's gonna fall back. What are, you, what are your thoughts on Yusuf Othman? On who? On Yusuf Othman? What are your thoughts on him? He's been, he's so far, a pretty good player on this team. Honestly, I've got to say, he, he, there's not one player on this CSI team right now that's lighting up. It's They're all playing efficiently and completely outsmarting this Port Richmond team. Yeah, he's been a part of Port Richmond for almost three years now. Mm -hmm. We can see that. Yes. And well, that, C CSI and Port Richmond's uh, JV game just before this, it was a complete blowout in favor of Port Richmond, but oh, now wow, really? it looks like the tables are turning. Yeah. We hope, we hope it doesn't you know, turn out to be a blowout here. Port Richmond just needs to wake up. Still it's a lot of game quarter. left. Yeah, it's only the first quarter, so and we'll see if anything changes in the next three quarters. And Cardona has it now. Shot clock turned off. Cardona finds Wright, who stops and is fouled in the act of shooting, so he will return to the line. Like I said, gonna be a very physical game. Already, th I believe, four fouls at this point called against CSI. Yes, four fouls called against CSI, but none against Port Richmond yet. So does that say that Port Richmond is not playing more efficiently on defense, the fact that they have no fouls yet? Honestly, yeah, I, I, I think so. They have no fouls. I don't think they're playing aggressive at all. I think CSI is like playing really aggressive. They're playing, you know, they're, they're all up in there. And Port Richmond just, I don't know. They just, they just need to play more aggressive and more physical right now. That's, a, that's what's going to win them this game. If they don't play physical, then I don't know how they're going to win this game. Well, I was speaking to Coach Danny Lee uh, this past weekend about this matchup, this highly anticipated matchup, as they lost to New Dorp this past weekend. I mean, excuse me, last week on Thanksgiving Eve. So now we're going to have to see what he can do here. They're already oh, wow. working out well. Three. I that believe was it was fouled in three-point range, and indeed he was, so it's going to be three shots here, not what Port Richmond needs right now. Yeah. Three points. Yeah, that was a three. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is going to be three shots here. Funny. There goes Jaw running past the camera. He can make this a 16-point lead if he hits all these free throws. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's that short. I was uh, at a... A uh, scrimmage between St. Joseph by the Sea and Notre Dame last night, uh, girls varsity teams, and these were the two refs for this game, and they did a really good job. So hopefully we'll see a very well officiated game here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know these two refs. They're they're good refs. They're fair. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he does here. Xavier, part and two. And oh no god. Oh. At the end of the, end of the first quarter, it's 7-22. to 22. Port Richmond absolutely getting smoked. I'm yeah. Jingle Khan. That was Fami Ali. We're going to have Jane D'Antonio on next. Fami, thank you for coming on, my man. Appreciate it, man. All right. All right. Thank you, guys.
And we're back here for the second quarter. Port Richmond being blown out here. Ladies and gentlemen, he was a little late, but fashionably late. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Bellotti. Here we are. And we're going to have Jaden D'Antonio on for the third quarter. I completely forgot that he said he wanted to do that. And possibly the fourth quarter as well. We'll see how that plays out. But for now, Q Wright has it. He's going to work the defense. Not going to get the rebound, uh, excuse me, the shot there. And struggling here for CSI. I mean for Port Richmond. Okay, let's see what that was. Timeout, I believe, called by CSI's coach. And we're going to be back after the timeout. Here we go back after the timeout. Let's see what happens. Number one, Keegan. Keegan is a look. He finds number three up. Misses, hits the rim to X Cardona now. And now here comes Rodriguez, who finds Cardona has it now. At the top, looking around. Maybe Port Richmond can get back on track here. Fluger has it now. A bit of a different rotation here. And... There goes Gio Lozada, who did not get it. And it's a long pass up. Port Richmond not up and working in. on defense as, that, as if it doesn't exist. Port Richmond's defense just doesn't exist. Totally ran through. Let's see. Reem Fluger looking. Goes and up. Hits the back. Comes back down. It's going to be a foul in the active shooting. I believe it's going to be Cardona's free throws. And Port Richmond, as we said last week, coming out with the new uniforms here. Um, what are your thoughts on them? Because we have nothing else to talk about. I think the uniforms are uh, clean looking. They're different than last year. I like the logo. I think they're very uh, minimalistic. Honestly. We're going to have some subs here. A new look here for Port Richmond. Cardona taking his three shots. Let's see what goes on here. Cardona going two for two. Let's see. First one up and in. So he makes his one shot that he has. Let's bring us up nine now. 24 to nine. Shoe on the court comes off. It's going to be up and bounces. Keegan looking to cut it. Keegan gets it back to number four, Sammy. Sammy finds Jalen. Alejandro looking. Alejandro back off. Keegan Travel. He's going to call Travel on Sammy Lazarek. And it's going to be a call in Port Richmond's favor. Should help him out. And we're going to have, we have some, a new look here for Port Richmond. As number five, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, Jahir Hill, a junior call up from JV, I believe, uh, gets his start, I guess his, uh, start on the court. It's going to be a traveling violation. Travel called on Cardona. See his eyes going to have it now. And now tight defense. Here we go. Keegan. Ball tipped off by Belusia and missed by Minch. So now Grant Staff's going to inbound it in front of our camera. Hill has it. Hill trying Keegan to get across half court. Defense. Let's see what goes on. Finds Grant Staff. Cardona has it down low. Is he going to try the floater again? It works for him again. That is his shot. Cardona works the floater like no man I've ever seen before in this school history. In a while, actually, I've never seen anybody work the floater like that. Belusia taking the ball up for CSI. He's going to find Samuel Lazarek. Lazarek. Back down to Alejandro Jalen. 
Jalen finds Cardona off a tip by Nax. I mean, Cardona's going to take it down for Port Richmond. Cardona inside up. No good. Was looking for some contact there. Unfortunately, did not get it from the referee. Belusia looking to make it down the court. Belusia passes it off to Mazarek. Mazarek passes that to Jalen Alejandro, who makes it in for a two. I think we could point out the elephant in the room. Port Richmond's defense is just not operating today. No, they're not. Picked off. Nunez back to Grantstaff. He's going to try the three. Boom! Norman Grantstaff has been hitting the three so far this season. He hit a few last game. So now let's see how he's going to work the rest of the season as that helps Port Richmond out here. Out of bounds is going to stay the way of CSI. We got sub checking in here. It's going to be the JV call up. Justin Royal. Number four for CSI, Lazarek inbounding it. Finds 25, Oathman. Oathman looking. Joel's going to get on Oathman. Let's see what happens. Oathman up. Oathman hits the back and in for a two. Tough shot there. Despite the heavy pressure from Joel, Oathman's going to make that in for a two. Honestly, he did all he could on defense there. Had he done much more, probably would have been a shooting foul. Tipped off by CSI, but Royal air balls it. Cardinal puts it back up and in for an N1. Gardona is a tough player. Definitely looking forward to hopefully seeing him playing on the college level next year as he is a senior. He's one of the many seniors. I believe a total of eight seniors on this Port Richmond squad. That's very good because there's a lot of veteran voices on this squad. But it's also not so great for this Port Richmond team as we don't know what could happen with them next year. But we will not focus on next year. We will focus on this year. And... Uh, and with one of the better Port Richmond teams I've seen at my time here. Definitely one of the best that we've seen. These guys spent pretty much most of their four years of high school playing together, whether on JV and coming back up to varsity. The chemistry they have has been built over four years, and, you know, it's also very strong when you take four years of a team and you build it. with the floater through. again, no good. It was a little sloppy on that one. Long pass like the defense isn't even there. Up uh, and in by Jalen Alejandro. All right, one thing I could point out right away about Port Richmond's defense, we know it's not working, but they need to fall back quicker. Much yes, they 100%. Do. They're letting the CSI McGowan, they're getting in, they're getting bodied. Because that's maybe the fourth or fifth time I've seen a not get that shot. The long down pass there. isn't working. The it's going to be a pass. traveling violation against Nunez, so the shot will not count. And now CSI to inbound from the baseline with just about three and a half minutes remaining in this uh, first half of Belusia action. Belusia looking. Belusia finds four. Lazarek. Lazarek gets the ball taken by Port. Cardona's going to slow it down a little bit. Hill is going to take it in. Is picked off. Maybe still has a little bit of the first year varsity jitters in him. Can't really blame him. Belusia's inbound it. Belusia takes it back. Belusia to Lazaric. Lazaric finds a long pass off the foot of Cardona. Now Royal's going to take it up. He was a star on the JV team last year. What can he do for the varsity team? That's going to go the way of CSI as it was picked off. And Jordan Royal not very happy about that one. Excuse me. Justin Royal. I'm going to yeah, add another thing. There's two Royal brothers on this um varsity squad now. I'm going to mix up the two names even though I really shouldn't be. So I apologize for that. They're just so similar with names. Subs for CSI. Two comes out. Two is Newman Marcus and Rosario Jalen is back in. Let's see what goes on here. That's me up. Good rebound there from Grant Seth. They're going to take it up quick. He has Royal on his right. Elects to take it himself but then finds Nunez in the corner who finds Cardona at the top. Fake. Another fadeaway. There's something about that shot, man. Really something about it. Port Richmond cutting them the deficit now about 10 points out from tying the game up with 2.30 left in period two. That's going to be a traveling violation again. A whole lot of walking around yeah, here. Another travel on 23. That is going to be Jalen Rosario. I want to give a big shout out to my camera. Alexis was doing a good job on camera today. Royal has it back to Grandstaff at the top. 
A lot of tight defense on there. Oh, no way. It's a beautiful shot, isn't it? A beautiful shot, beautiful stroke. God, don't even get to point out, Jake. We're There's starting to slowly crawl back here now. 21-30 yes, is are. your score. I don't, yeah, I don't believe CSI. Uh, no, what am I saying? I, I was CSI about to say. is a very hard team to play against. I don't know if anybody has said it so far, but their coach, Daniel Lee, coaches both intermediate at IS-51. He coaches their basketball team and coaching high school, uh, high school level. He also coaches. He also coaches college level, so he coaches three different levels. Not only that, he also coaches. Oh, what a! I believe a foul call there. And the CSI side to our right was looking for an old ball block there, but it will be Hill who will go to the line. But like you said, Danny Lee, a coach of many teams, he's also a coach at the CYO level, coaching at Blessed Sacrament. I believe in the fifth grade division. Don't take my word for that. He coaches at four different levels. So with that, you got to think he is a good coach as he coaches different age ranges. Coaching no. both college, intermediate, and fifth graders. I mean, there's a lot of underrated coaches on this island. You oh, got yes, Donahue is. over at MSIT. You got Danny Lee over here at CSI. We got, obviously, Coach Smalls over here at Port Richmond. Here we go. A lot of good talents up and down the board. As Hill puts it up, no good. Hits the front of the rim. It's going to be a foul. Defense was a little rough there from jo uh, Justin Royal. And uh, the running theme here seems to be, I bring plenty of water to these things, and I always run out halfway through the quarter. Here comes Belusia. Belusia passes it off to 25, Oathman. Oathman back to Belusia. Belusia at the top, misses it. Oh, long pass up to Grantsaf. He has Hill on his right. Looks to take it himself. He's going to try Cardona's shot. And he gets in. Two. That seems to be spreading on the team now. Cutting it down now, just 30 to 23 with a minute 19 left and two periods left to play. Just one thing you see, all the Port Richmond coaches come together. Royals getting very physical. Steph and Allison Ryan all coaching on the same team right now. Starting to get a little physical. We got had a small little scuffle between Royal and another CSI player in the midcourt. 25 Oathman. And they're still getting physical down there. Oh, a little bit of a hop there. Oathman gets tipped off, Joel. Oathman recovers the ball. Oathman in the back corner being held up by Joel. Yes, is all over seconds. him. He's running the time that Oathman shoots the ball, hits the rim and misses. Received back, Belusia, Belusia to Oathman. Oathman shot, misses, hits the rim. Saved by Port Richmond and passed off. And now Hill has his shot clock turned off. Corner, Grants have into Cardona who is, I believe, called for the foul before the shot. Indeed, he is. There was a foul called against CSI before the shot, so it will be taken out from the baseline. Subs checking in now. CSI's number 30 checks in for their number 25. What is it? Finds Nunez, who puts it up and in through the defense. And 25-30 is your score. Port Richmond crawled back here. Maybe they just needed a wake-up call, and they certainly got it. Here we go, Belusia with 11, 10 seconds left in counting. 30 to 25 with a low wake-up call now. Play good D. Belusia looking to find it in. Belusia can't find it. Belusia to the back. Looks to shoot. It's going to be a travel with 0.2 seconds left. I can't really imagine them getting, a, getting one off. And there again, Jake. In period two, they had a revival. 30 to 25 now. No. Nah. No, there was no time to get that off anyway. So your halftime score is going to be 25-30. Port Richmond crawled back. What can they do in the second half? I'm Jake. That's Frank. We'll be back.
What's going on, everybody? And welcome back. We're here for the second half. Your score right now is Port Richmond 25, CSI McCowan 30. I am here with another Port Richmond graduate and former basketball player, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jaden D'Antoni. Yeah, what's up, everybody? So, Jaden, you're back here. You were here for the MSIT game. First of all, that was a big win for us. What were your thoughts on that game? That game it was just like the way that the Raiders played, the way like we played, man, was like insane. X had a great game. Norman stepped up. Even the kids from JV that got moved up stepped up, had a good game. Oh, God, this kid. Gotta go for 30. And well, now Cardona got it. And like you said, some JV call ups here. They say we're doing well, but we also have players that were doing good as they get it in there. We also have some other players who are still a lot of seniors on the squad. What are your thoughts on some of the seniors here? Um, on Poison? Mm -hmm. so my thoughts on, of course, Xavier, everyone you know, knows he's, you know, people that talk about Gio and Alex, they come in and they step up. Alex with a three point shooting, stretching the floor, you know, gives the team more like options on offense. Gio here for the defense all around. He's, he's a good player, can finish the ball. Norman, man, the way he's shooting the ball this season, it's good deal. The way he's shooting the ball this season is, is, is great. Tosses away here. Grand Staff taking it up now. Finds Nunez. Takes a step. Finds Grand Staff again. Back out to Cardona who tries a three-pointer. No wow. good. Hits the top, so it's going to be out of bounds. And Jaden, as we know, you are, you are a transfer from Wagner, and you didn't spend all four years here at Port Richmond. But during the years that you did spend here, playing under Coach Jeremy Smalls, what, what was that feeling like? How did it feel to be at Port Richmond? Um, it felt like, like home. Like, you know, I have somewhere like, that I'm comfortable playing at. Like Wagner, I, when I was there my freshman year, it just like didn't feel right. It didn't feel comfortable. I felt like out of, I don't know, I just felt like out of place. It didn't feel right. And once I came here, you know, my dad went here, my grandma went here, my dad's dad went here. Like, you know, generations of my family have been here, you know, went here. So, you know, me going here and, you know, me making history in the school, breaking the three-point record, it's just, it's just crazy, you know, that my name would be in the school. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts on Coach Jeremy Smalls? Oh, he's a, he's a great coach. I, lo I love Coach Smalls. Coach Smalls is, even off the court, talking to him, it's just, you know, he's like a, you know, everyone thinks their coaches, you know, it's a good shot. Belusia hits the three-pointer there. CSI started off crazy with a three-point barrage, and then Port Richmond came back in the second quarter. What were your thoughts on the beginning of this game? At the beginning, man, it was a little, it was a little shaky for us. Um, Yusef came out to a hot, great start. Yusef's only a junior doing this, so it's like, you know, he, he still has one more year of this. He's definitely, if he does stay, going to be a thousand points scoring in CSI. He's a great, great player. Um, the move. Cardona gets it up and in for the end one. But yeah, we got we got we got the run. We got a run that we needed, and we're, we're right here. We're right in this game. We yeah. just gotta stop them on defense. Well, it's gonna be Xavier Cardona back at the line here for Port Richmond. He has a chance to get him even closer here. They're slowly chipping back. Do you see a way that Port Richmond can come back here? Yes, definitely. If we if we just stick to the game plan and do what you know Coach Moss tells them to do, just give it to. I'm not even saying every single time, but X is having a great game. So why stop going to him? Keep going to him. It's, oh, a six. Never mind. But yeah, um, yeah, just keep going to X. You know, and if they if they help and they collapse, kick it out. Shooters. This team is not a. You know, we have shooters on this team definitely. Well, now CSI is going to take it up here. Take that. Take that. Let's go, Jess. Oh, uh, a whole lot of fouls down there. Pull them down there. The CSI player helps him back up. Jordan, uh, Justin Royal has been a very physical player in this game. He's been helping out on defense. What are your thoughts on him? That's, um, man, as the, as, that's my cousin. I love him. But he's, he's you know, stepped up. I've been talking to him about this move. The, the move. Oh, yeah, take him. Yep. Oh. A whole lot blocking down there. It's going to stay the way of Port yeah. Richmond. Family but, ties run deep around here, I guess. Yeah, was, you know, I, I always told him, you know, it just sucked. I, I didn't get to play with him because, you know, he got moved out to Vars the year I graduated. But, you know, he's a great point guard, unselfish. Go, ah! Cardona tried to get up, but he gets it back up. Let's and then Cardona's an absolute menace in the paint. <laughs> he, he hits nice floaters. Yeah, he gets it in there, gets it once. He's a 6'4", he, 6'5", he's a six, four, six, five, can handle the ball, can finish, can pass, can shoot. You know, he's a, this kid though, Yusef is, oh, good B. And Joel Nunez is going to take it down now. He's going to do it himself, he's gets that. it up in it. He has quite a wingspan, doesn't he? Yes, definitely. That's, 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 that's just the second block of the game. And that's going to yep. be a backcourt. Yeah. All right, no, is it a backcourt? No, timeout for CSI. We'll be back.
And we're back here. Five minutes remaining in the third quarter of play. And CSI has it now. They're going to take it up. Tyler Keegan, defender. He also really good. Um, yeah. And now Nunez yeah. has it. Nunez gets it's around the well. defender and in. And Nunez gives Port Richmond the lead. 35-33 is your score. He's got to lock up here. He's got to lock up. And now CSI Same. player. Hill gets the rebound. Taking it down now. He's going to pass on Nunez. Great shot. The three. Boom! Three-pointer yeah, for Norman Grenstaff. Yeah, Norman. Man, Norman was another person. I got him to Port Richmond. He was originally a fellow. I told him my senior year, I'm like, Norman, you know what I'm saying? Like, come to Port Richmond. And Norman, Look how it's working out. Yeah, definitely. And long pass uh, into Cardona finds him. Oh, yeah, that's up. Oh, yeah, that's up. Hey! Yes, sir. They're starting to wake up here. Yes, sir. We need this. This is a great run. It's a great run for us. Oh! Oh! And okay, Nunez okay, goes okay, down. And like we said, very physical game. Is that Shayla on DJ? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you got all poor Richmond alumni all over the place. And not even alumni, just people that just generally yeah. go here. Everybody's. Shayla's in my second period class. Oh, she's in your class? Yeah. <laughs> Good DJ, bro. Oh, and yeah, yeah, a lot of contact yeah, up yeah. there. It was inevitable. We decided his feet. He did play, you know, just right up when he went up for the shot, you know. His and Cardona giving uh, some friendly advice to Nunez. And seems to be the topic here, tight games at Port Richmond. We're probably going to see a lot of these this year. Well, Port Richmond's next matchup, they have two away games. First, they head to Newdorp, and then they'll head to uh, Patrice. What are your thoughts on the Newdorp, the Newdorp matchup? Do you think this is going to be a good game for them? Uh, definitely. Um, they did lose some players, like Xavier Pizarro, who graduated. You know, but they do have Rancis. They do have that kid. I think his name is Newley, whatever. He's he's the center. Mm -hmm. It should be a good game, especially that Newdorp actually beat CSI. They actually beat them on their opening mm -hmm. night. So, you know, it's going to be a close game. It's going to be a good game. But I don't know why when we play CSI at Port, it's always a close game for us. Yeah, know? because when we played them last year, yeah. last year was only like, what, second or third game of the season, we smoked them. Yeah, it's just when it comes to Port Richmond, I don't know, man. It's just good shot. Three-pointer is uh, no good. And Jaws going to catch it at the bench. The, the heart of Port Richmond spirit, and not just Port Richmond spirit, just school spirit in general, Jaw Definitely. at the bench over there. Yeah. <laughs> Never really left. He's still here. Yeah, Jai's always going to be here. It can be three years from now. Jai's going to be here. He's still going to be here. here. We love it, though. Yeah. Oh, well, deep three there from CSI is no good. It's going to go out of bounds. And now okay, Hill's going to take really it up. Coach. <laughs> well, just under three and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter of action. Nunez has it, and he finds Wright, Royal, into Gre uh, Car Cardona. Back out. Corner yeah, shot we want from we Wright want is good. We, we it's going to be a two-pointer. The ref sees it from the other side. He's going to call it a two. But nonetheless, it's going to put Port Richmond up nine. Oh, that's a good oh, he, that's and Belugia puts it up no good. Another three-point from CSI is good. Could see that one coming. And they're going to blow the whistle so they can stop the clock, give him a second to catch the ball back. Yeah, fixing that. Thank God. And now. Attack. 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 Yep. Hey! Nunez. Nunez is a solid player. He gets in there, puts him up over the single, right, uh, double okay. digits. Yeah. It's going to be a foul, I believe, against Wright. The foul count is four and two. And now to be inbounded from in front of CSI's bench, head coach Danny Lee going to take a seat. Good defense. And grab it, grab it. Uh, it. Yeah, that's a foul. Yep, that way. It's going to go that way. Good defense by Quinn. Quinn is a JV step up, um, got moved up. He's going to be a real big help for us this year. 
especially with the loss of Fidel. He reminds me of like a Fidel kind of, I might be going to lie. They're both, you know, great, long wingspan, okay, both yeah. athletic. Well, a good amount of players are called up from JV this year. As we know, like we said, eight seniors, so they're going to lose a lot of players next Definitely. year. Definitely. Next year is going to be, ooh. Next year is going to be a hard hit for us. We're going to lose a lot of players. Hey. Oh, he That's what we need to step up uh, next year. We need Justin. Royal, very fast. It's going to go the way of CSI. Oh, take that. High up pass there. Keegan with the ball. Another three. You said. No good. Nunez, and now Royal's going to take it. Looking up, seeing what his options are. He's going to take it himself. And a foul going up. Danny Lee not very happy about that one. Felt it was a travel, and the CSI fans definitely do believe as well. Man, Coach Lee is such a good coach. He was mm -hmm. my... Um, Science grade, seventh grade science teacher in 51, man. And he's just <laughs> Bring him back great, to 51 yeah. then he's still there. Yeah, yeah, he's still there. He's a, he's a, great, he's a great coach. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of middle school teachers that are also high school coaches. I believe the Tonville assistant coach was also a um, teacher at 51. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Mr. Leonard or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Leonard. Leonard. Yeah, yeah. Grab it. Ah. Uh, and so it's going to go the way of CSI with 154 remaining in the third quarter of action. Your score 44 to 37. Keegan with the ball. Got it tightly by Ja. You said for Quinn on him. Good defense. Blocked there. Royal. Finds Cardona back to Nunez. Attacking He's going to take it in back out to Cardona, who loses it but gets it back. Cardona back up and that. in. He's unstoppable in the paint. Once you see him running towards you, you might as well move out the way. <laughs> oh, travel. It's going to be a sub here. Adem's going to check in. Set for Poison and CSI. Um, Marcus subs into the game for CSI. Well, as we can see over there, Sonny Maldonado on the bench here. He's been suspended after a, um, foul, a flagrant foul during the Newdorp game. He's expected to be back soon, but he was definitely supposed to be a big part of the CSI team. Do you definitely. think CSI would be doing better had they had him? Um, yeah, Sonny, how he plays, he's just like a – he doesn't even care to score. He's just a real good defender. He has a nose for the ball. Ball's on the floor. He's diving on it. Good shot. Well, Dem puts it up and no good. Yeah, we would have been a big help for them tonight. Jalen, Jalen's also, he improved his three-point shot. Hey! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right has it. Cardona. Hey. What a run That's there. That's right there. The JV call making his name known. Quentin Wright, man. He's going to be a great help for defensively. Oh. Stops there. Belusia. With the pull-up. Foul shot pull-up okay. is no good. Gets, Gets it, back, it back, though. No shot yeah. clock now. Marcus attacking. And it is going to be a blocking foul. Wow. The referee felt his feet were not set. And as Hill tried to draw the charge, he will not get it. So now it will be free throws here for CSI as they are in the bonus. Wow, those are a lot of seniors. Number two is taking it. Up and good. Marcus is the first one. I do not have a number. Oh, wait, no, I do have a number two. I'm sorry. Marcus Newman. 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 These names get harder and harder. To yeah. <laughs> I only know, I only know all the of CSI players. I only know all their first names. I don't know none of their last <laughs> names, besides <laughs> you said. Oh, and Sonny, but that's really it. He's at the line for us. I believe it's going to be, yes, Q right. Right puts the first one up and is good. Right. And that will put him ahead by 11. See if he can make it a 50-point game for Port Richmond. 
Jake, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I really give it to you. I don't know how you can like talk and like also like you know you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, watch yeah. the game, but also like it's so hard. I, I watch the game, I like forget to talk. It comes with talent, bro. <laughs> and Lucia gets the rebound. Oh man, I, I miss playing high school basketball, man. High school basketball is intense, but it sure is fun. Yeah, definitely. I miss it, man. Right defending tightly. They're gonna run the clock here so they can get the last shot of the quarter. Finds Belugia in the corner. Into Cardona. Cardona has it. Gets it off in time. No good. And your third quarter score at the end of the third quarter. 49-38. We're gonna bring you the fourth quarter. Frank's coming back. Jaden, I appreciate it, my boy. All right, and you, hopefully we can have you on again soon. Of course, of course. Thank you. All right. And we're back here. Fourth and final quarter of action. Port Richmond is up 11. And can Port Richmond hold on for the next eight minutes? If they do, it'll be their second win of the season. It'll be 2-0 and for them as they head into the road trip. CSI did have a chat on the sideline as the quarter ended. And let's see what they Team three there for CSI is no good. Belusia receives it. Belusia lost the ball. But Adiamo checks in now. This is the first time we're seeing him on the court for Port Richmond. Number four, Lazaric in. Lazaric to Belusia. Belusia looking to make it up. Belusia back to Sammy. Sammy back to Belusia. Belusia looking, finds Lazaric. Lazaric looking, can't find it. Lazaric finds Jalen. Jalen Alejandro. Alejandro back to Lazaric. My bad, not Lazaric. Osman to Belusia. Belusia to Lazaric. Lazaric up. Bounce off. Taken by Fluger. Now he to the right. Right coming up with the ball now. He's been showing out in this game. Fluger has it at the top. I need to stand. I was the first time I'm actually standing in this game. This is crazy. And that was Hill, I'm sorry. Right, Dadman? Right. Foul shot. No good. Taken by CSI. CSI is going to take the ball down now. Back to Lazaric. Lazaric looking. Lazaric up. Misses, hits the rim. Fluger trying to get in there. Dem gets it. They've got numbers. Adem looking for the foul there, but it's just blocked. It's going to be a traveling violation. We'll go the way of CSI. And now Gio Lozada is going to check in for Adem. Again, big shout out to Julian LaBella, who's down in the baseline taking pictures for our guys. You can follow him at LaBella Picks on Instagram. Belusia, Belusia to Lazaric. Lazaric up, oh, misses the three. And also big shout out to Aiden Akinero, who's on the other baseline. He's CSI's photographer. Akinero Sports is what it is on Instagram. Lazaric, Lazaric finds the ball. Finds right in the corner. Back out to Fluger. Under six minutes remaining. And play's going to stop as the shot clock was not reset. 
ref going to have a chat with the table. He's going to reset it to 23 seconds as a lot of time was let off. But it's going to be a timeout here. We'll be back. We're back now with 5.50 remaining in the fourth quarter of action. Hill throws it into Lozada, who throws it back to Hill. Uh, Diamo has it at the top. Into Hill, who puts it up in and in. Jahir Hill, ball, the junior, gets Osman, it in. Osman the Belugia. Belugia finds Alejandro. Alejandro makes a circle, looks for Belugia at the top again. Belugia finds it up in the paint. Oh, maybe a little That's contact there, but gets it in. Belugia on a roll tonight. Let's see what he can do. Another one of those dangerous forces to look at on CSI's team. Last year, he was also on a roll. He's well, now a senior, definitely playing at college level if he can. Well, Adiemo has it now. Haven't seen a lot of him in this game, but let's see what he can do now. Q Wright was putting it up and in. It's going to be a foul. Danny Lee was possibly looking for a jump ball there as the hand was on the ball, but there was more contact from the side. And now Wright's going to be back at the free throw line. Cardona getting ready to check in. Five of five, 51 to 40, with an 11 point lead. And Wright misses first one. Cardona's going to check in for Hill. Another JV call. He's done a really good job this game. And now Wright's going to try the second one here, see if he can knock this one down as it goes up. And good. And Makes it a 12-point game. 5-0-5, rough 52-40, now a 12-point lead. 25, Ultimate, Ultimate up for the quick little two. Go way in there. up 52-42 now, closing up the gap. CSI pretty much owned the entire first quarter and the majority of the, of the second quarter. They've been struggling a little bit here in the second half. As this is the second game of the season, and we saw this with Port Richmond last week when we played MSRT. When the team gets the lead in the early first two periods, and then they come back after halftime, sometimes they get a little lazy and they kind of sit back and think they have the game, but the game gets quick and it takes over. And the inbound play was not good. It was off about the ammo, so it will come back the way of CSI, but it will stay at the baseline. Subs will check in. It's going to be... Norman Grandstaff, he's coming in for Fiat Diemo. And now CSI to inbound. The shot is, the ref believed there was contact. Not too many fans happy about that one, nonetheless it happened. Osman taking the free shots, let's see what happens. Oathman just put up a two. Let's see what he can make. There goes one in. That's one. There you go. He puts one on the board, making 52-43 with 4.42 left. There comes a second up. And in for two for two now. My bad. He gets a third now. Didn't realize he had three. That's my bad. He's two for two. We're so used to two shots. Three for three. I know. I'm so used to two shots. I forgot the bonus. Grandstaff has it now. He works his way around the defender, who gets back in front of him. Fluger, getting caught up down there. He's got to get rid of it. He finds Cardona inside. Puts it back up, almost got it in. Lazada gets it in. Oh, no, he doesn't. Open moves the ball He's going to stay the way of Paul Richmond. Definitely a lot going on down there. We're going to have a sub-check in for CSI. Number 12 is going to check in. 
for number two. Two for CSI comes out. Newman Marcus. In comes number 12, Isaiah Pua. And now Fluger has it. Grandstaff around at the top. He's got it to the side. Cardona near the corner. Grandstaff. Fella playing D on Norman. Norman finds the ball again in his hand. Right up at the top. Right. Finds Norman in the back right corner. Norman finds Cardona in the paint. Cardona turns around, looks for the shot. Can't make the shot. Finds nice Wright shot there the by Q Wright. 54-45 now, 3.52. Can the boys hold on to pull out the win? For hey, that was a nice little run up there. He gets it in there. And now it's going to be sub. Looks like Reem is going to come in. Uh, not Reem, Joel. Joel well, comes in for I've seen at least three different potential calls. There. I saw either a timeout, an official timeout, or a sub. But it looks like it's just going to be subs. As it's picked off, poor pass there from Nunez. Porter needs to get back here. As Nunez tries to block it, doesn't get it. Nunez takes it up now. Joel. Finds Cardona, but it is unfortunately not a good pass. Lozada gets it back, however. Lozada's going to slow it down a little bit. And Lozada over the rim there. Belusia looks to pass, but misses a pass to Othman. Othman picks up the ball, but turns it down the court. Up. It's at one. Yeah. That'll help CSI out immensely. And now Hill's going to check back in for Lozada. Here we go. Oathman takes his free shots. What? Oathman? Sorry, my bad. And now Grandstaff. No, no, no. Cardona has it. Cardona looking around. Cardona gets off. in there. And in for it's like I said before, if you see Cardona run down the middle to the point, Here pink, you might as well move out the way. Oh, nice. Bullet pass into there, does not get it. Cardona, Cardona bringing the ball down behind his back. Oh, the handles are insane. Finds Nunez. Up at the top. Nunez up for the three. Puts the rim, bounces off. Grandstaff gets it back, whoever. Cardona, Cardona, fake. Hill is no shot. A foul on the floor. It will stay Port Richmond ball. Coach Lee was looking for a travel there. Two and a half minutes remaining. More clock issues. They get it sorted. As a few seconds roll off the main game clock. Portion up six. Can they hold this lead? It's a poor pass. Cardona has it at the top looking around to see what he can do. No way. Cardona's been on fire. If I was keeping stats for how many points, I would say he had at least 20. Here we go. Oh, could have been. Lazaric, Lazaric off. Special walk there. The, Nothing. Off the rim. Grant Saf. Long pass up to Fluger. Maybe a little too long, but gets it up over the rim. Physical down low. Weak pass. Not much you can really do there. It's going to be a timeout, a full timeout. Franco Zanui will be back.
All right, so here's the game rundown for you. 158 remaining in the fourth and final quarter of action. Your score is 58-50 in favor of Port Richmond. Port Richmond struggled a lot in the first half, but they were able to come back. But now can CSI heat up here and get back. With a minute and 46 seconds left. Very close game, another nail biter like last game against MSIT. Let's see what Port can do. Can they hold it? Finds Belusia, Belusia at the top. Belusia looks. And Cardone tries Justify to get Belusia, it back, but it's going to go out of it. bounds. Out. Inbound by CSI, I believe. Yes, it will be an inbound of CSI. Off the hands of a Port Richmond player. Belusia will be inbounding it. Let's see where he goes. Belusia Osman. Open up. Deep three by Earthman. And now Port Richmond's got to get a little nervous here, but hopefully they can hold on as Fluger loses it. Loon loses the ball. Pick but they get it back. Nunez. Nunez looking to drag it up. Nunez caught up in the corner. Long pass out to Cardone. He's going to slow it down a little bit. But CSI is going to keep the pressure on as we approach the minute mark. And now... Up five. What can Nunez do for Port Richmond? He takes it himself. Is up and no good. And they're going to want to play tight defense. To down with 50 seconds left. Terrell falls. Cardona gets it back as Nunez went down. Grantsev has it all up on his own. And is blocked from behind. <laughs> Not much you can really do about that. Some very passionate CSI right, fans to the right of us. 42 win, four seconds left. But the score is 58-53. Just over a three-point lead. Cardona was looking for some contact, but he gets it in there. As he head bopped it, so I think he can 60 to get it for him. Now they make it in just to pull their lead up by Port Richmond. Belusia looking to drive it in. Belusia being pressed by Port Richmond. Uh, interesting shot Cardone there from Belusia. Now Cardona's going to slow it down. They're going to foul. There's no shot clock, so they have to foul. Believe the sub is going to be pulled in. So, with the score 60 to 53. Same thing. And now Cardona is fouled as CSI is going to keep fouling until they get to the bonus mark. There's currently three fouls against CSI, so they're going to need to foul two more times. Yeah. And 19 point, sorry, 19.4 seconds and counting. Let's see what they do. So now that's four fouls, 13 seconds left. Honestly, at this point, CSI's going to look for the next foul so that they could go to the line. But let's see what they can do here. Free throws being taken by Port Richmond. Jake, another game that we saw change within an instant. When I came in, a little bit late but fashionable, it was 22 to 4. Port Richmond has now pulled up in front with a 60 to 53 lead with 13 seconds. Right, well, the foul Jake, as you know, if the boys work hard, even if you're at the lowest deficit, you can still come back. Indeed, I, I wanted to wait for Hill to hit the shot, but he gets it in there. That puts Port Richmond up by, if I could do math correctly, 61 to 53. <laughs> I'm not very Jake's good. always slow with the math. I'm not very good. Math is not my subject, people. Here comes the shot. Up. And in for the second one. So that puts him up nine. I knew that one. Two for two, 62-53 with 13.7 seconds left. The clock isn't running right now. Interesting three there. No up good. Up hits the rim. Found again by Belugia off the tip. Belugia up. They're just, throw, the they're just throwing it at this point. Another interesting three. No up good. They're not going to do anything else. Like they jump. That is the game. Your final score is 62-53. Port Richmond came back, and now they are 2-0. Oh. To start the season off, 
Ladies and gentlemen, they have two away games next week on the road against Newdorp and then against Petrides. So we won't be back for a while, but we hope to see you soon. I'm Jake. That's Frank. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.